it's uh, very far above my expectation. Show the customers what we can do with your product. My name is Lisa Nemeth and I am a technical specialist in winter wheat. Bow mill technology was developed in Sweden and it's named after one of the inventors. His first name is Bo. It works on uh, looking at a spectra of uh, chemical makeup of a grain. One of the key things that is being used for wheat is looking at protein level. Uh, if you have a degrading factor that affects protein in a kernel, um, you can select by kernel the difference in that protein content and then because each kernel is examined individually, you can remove an individual kernel using this technology. SIGI is working with the University of Saskatchewan at their research facility in North Battleford on different projects, not just this one. Um, the University of Saskatchewan has uh, a full engagement in this process and uh, they will have this for a long term to be able to do feed studies because that's the interest of that area is actually looking at um, improving grade for feed use. The reason Siggy's gotten involved in this project is because uh, of looking at downgrading factors. And one of the main downgrading factors in wheat is fusarium damage. Um, because along with affecting functionality, there is a health um, effect to, uh, the, with the production of a toxin. Unfortunately, winter wheat this year had a lot of downgrading due to fusarium. So we thought we'd look at it as an opportunity to be able to test um, large-scale samples on the bowl mill. If you have a um, product that is downgraded to a feed grade, um, we are looking to see if, depending on how it fits into that feed grade level, could we then increase the value so that it's a milling grade, so a number two or a number one, and when we do that, how much material had to be taken out, and, uh, and then we can evaluate what the cost to sort is compared to what the added value is to the upgraded wheat. Um, but we're also going to be looking at the amount of toxin before and after because that's very important from a safety perspective. Is it still meeting the requirements for DAWN levels? Or that's the, the toxin name. So at the Canadian Feed Research Centre in North Battleford, they have a bow mill. And uh, the bow mill is a sorting machine, so um, it uses near-infrared transmittance. Uh, so what happens is a sample goes into a hopper at the top of the bow mill um, and then the sample um, gets sifted through into a drum and the drum um, does a near-infrared scan of each kernel. And one pipe will give out outliers, so anything that doesn't fit the criteria that we put in parameters. A uh, second pipe will be for low fractions and the third pipe is uh, high fractions. They get put into bins and uh, so we'll sample for a certain amount of time each bin and then we'll weigh the bins and that way we can get um, an average um, capacity of what, uh, how much grain would come through and how much we're losing and that way we can calculate to see if it's a cost effective uh, way for the farmer to take um, say fusarium out of the sample. Once the samples come out of the vessels we collect them, uh, we collect a 25 kilogram samples of each one so the outlier, the low fraction and the high fraction and what we do now is we subsample everything so samples go for dawn testing and they go for grading. Dawn testing we gave about half a kilo and grading we gave about a kilo. And then once the grades come in um, from the fractions that are good, so if a 70% brings us to a number two quad uh, or Durham sample, then what we'll do is we'll take that um, sample and we'll mill 25 kilos. And then from the Durham, we'll make pasta, um, bread, and then we'll um, analyze it for uh, end product use. On December the 10th, uh, in North Battleford, we're going, Sigi is going to host a workshop and all the information is available on our website. Um, and the goal of this workshop is to demonstrate the bow mill and we'll also be presenting what results that we have available already um, from this research work. Um, there was also um, some work being done on an optical sorter to look at um, removing fusarium damage as, as well. Producers can bring in samples, um, which is all in the registration information, and if they want to actually test out the equipment with their own samples, they can do that as well. Um, there are other types of sorting equipment, as I mentioned, this optical sorter. There is also um, gravity sorters that can be used. 
So bowl mill is a great opportunity um, to use sorting equipment. One of a certain type of sorting equipment is very new and that's why Siggy's interested in having the opportunity for farmers to be able to look at this type of equipment.